Shalom, Shalom, Yasharala. All praises and glory go to you. How about Shimmy? I was shy by Shimmer Kakwadash, the blind to the apostles of Great Millstone and Faith Hastings, unto the legmen feeding the sheep of you. How about Shimmy? I was shy in sincerity and truth with this great gospel, man. And um, we're going to get into this lesson because um, our job is to feed the sheep. To feed the sheep, man. Our job is to identify the sheep, right? Identify the sheep according to what the curses, according to what um, the promises, according to the state and the condition that they're in right now, who these people would be, right? And in what country there would be, in the countries there would be scattered in. And um, just one thing we're doing, we're putting precept upon precept, line upon line, and the Lord has opened our minds to this truth, right? This truth is no longer sealed unto certain men. And um, here at Great Millstone, we believe we are the, the men of the Lord, and we believe that we are the ancient men in the past who, are, who was doing this work, who was doing this work. And um, what do you got? What else you got on the other side? You got these type of motherfuckers right here, right? These false preachers, right? It says America, where Christianity came to die. You goddamn right. This is exactly where Christianity came to die. Cause um, one thing right here is um, these false pastors, right? These false preachers, right? These five hundred one c three um um five hundred one c three doctrine pushers, right? <laughs> Because under the 501c3, you cannot preach certain things. Anything that goes against what the government wants you, against the government, you can't you can't push these, this type of doctrine. So um, you have these sellouts, right? You have these sellouts who went who came from what these um, these schools, these theologian schools, whatever that shit is called, fucking schools of Bible studies and shit. And they ain't learned nothing. They ain't learned nothing. I was dealing with one demon. And she told me her friend was going to Bible school, some chick. And she said one thing they did not do is open the Bible. Yeah, they were reading all type of other books, but they did not open the Bible. Because um, one thing these people do, they don't preach the Bible. They preach um, prosperity. They preach um, motivation, right? They push a fake spiritual motivation. And that's not what this book is about, man. Right? This book is only for one people. This book is for the children of Israel, man. Let me get this verse right here. This is the book of Jeremiah 23 and 21. I have not sent these prophets, yet they ran. I have not spoken to them, yet they prophesied. Yeah, you got a bunch of people doing a lot of talking, and the Lord did not send them, man. The Lord did not send them. And how can you tell if the Lord sent them or not? I'm going to go to the book of Isaiah. We're going to go to Isaiah 8 and verse 20. It reads, to the law and to the testimony, if they speak not according to this word, they speak not according to this word. It is because there is no light in them. And um, it's obvious they're not speaking according to this word, man, because they're speaking some, they're speaking the word that's trying to gather all people on earth, right? That's what you're getting from the Christianity, the Christianity that God loves all people, all nations. God, the man they call Jesus died for all nations. That is madness, right? That is madness. I'm going to read again America where Christianity came to die. Yeah, because Christianity is not, is not scriptural, right? It says they were called Christians first in Antioch, right? The men who followed the Mashiach, Yahweh Shai. But they were not following a Christian doctrine, that bullshit of Jesus Christ, right? Because when you're dealing with Christianity, you got to bring in Jesus Christos, right? That's the new makeover, the takeover of Christianity, this pale body um, devil, with long hair, right? Trying to act like he's what a, a son of the Heavenly Father. This is madness. And they, they, it was the devils who painted his likeness, right? Who painted this image, man, trying to make it and put it up high for people to worship. Because that's what you're doing right now. A lot of people worship Jesus Christ or Caesar Boger. It's an America where Christianity came to die. The truth is out. Yeah, the truth is out. The truth is that, um, Christianity has nothing to do with the Lord. That whole Christianity doctrine and bullshit, man, that post-slavery ass worshiping, that's madness, right? Let me read this. It's Titus 1 and 10, for there are many unruly and vain talkers and deceivers, right? You got a lot of vain talkers and deceivers because through deception, these people got rich, right? Through deceiving you people, right? Keep bringing in your money, yeah. 
it's $10 for a prayer. Yeah. Because that's how they make money in the churches. Weddings, prayers, baptisms, all type of shit, man. They throw little parties and all this madness, right? That is not that is not of Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai. Right? We gather to, to praise the Lord and to push this gospel. That's it. I'm reading for there are many unruly and vain, right? And vain talkers. And deceivers, especially they of the circumcision, whose mouths must be stopped. Whose mouths must be stopped, man. A lot of these preachers, they mouths must be stopped, right? It says, who, who subvert hold houses, teaching things which they ought not for what? For filthy lucre's sake. You see, because it's all about money. It's all about money. What's the main thing at the end of the day these people <laughs> talking for? They, they they ain't doing it to save souls, right? They're not doing it to bring the children of Israel back to the Lord. No, they're doing it for financial gain, right? They're doing it so they could buy a plane, so they could buy a bigger house, more bigger houses. <laughs> I'm going to go to the book of 1 John 4 and 1. It reads, Beloved, believe not every spirit, right? Because you guys, you, you believe, oh, man, he looks like a man of the Lord. He looks like a man of God. Oh, he has money. He, he's financially set, so he must be a man of God. God bless him. Right? That's what you got coming out of these Christian churches. They're thinking wealth is um spirituality. Wealth is a connection to God. When it speaks about the rich man shall not enter into the, it's going to be hard for a rich man to enter into the kingdom of heaven. Right? It told the rich man to give away his wealth and follow Yahweh Shai, but what did he say? Shit, <laughs> I got too much goddamn money. Right? A lot of people, they ain't going to turn to the Lord because they got too much goddamn money, but they'll go to Christianity because with Christianity, come as you, what they say, come as you are, some bullshit. I don't, I don't know. That, ain't that verse is not in the Bible. Right? Beloved, believe not every spirit, but try the spirit whether they are of the most high because many false prophets are gone out into the world. Right hereby know the know ye the spirit of the Most High. Every spirit that confesses Mashiach is come. Every spirit that confess that Yahweh Shai Mashiach is come in the flesh,es of the Most High. Right, and we we identified what he looked like when he came in the flesh. Woolly hair, dark skinned man. Right, not Cesare Borgia, not Caesar Borgia, not Mister White Man Jesus Christ. Right. It says, hereby know ye the spirit of the Most High. Every spirit that professed that Yahweh Shai came in the flesh, Yahweh Shai Mashiach is, is come in the flesh is of the Most High. And every spirit that confesses not that Yahweh Shai is come in the flesh is not of the Most High. And this is the spirit of Antichrist, whereof ye have heard that it is it should come, and even now already is in the world. You've been having a spirit of an antichrist in the world, right? You got um Christianity is a spirit of antichrist, <laughs> right? Um, shit, everything out here is a spirit of antichrist in the society because they don't want to follow the ways that's going to lead you back to the Lord. What they want to follow? They want to follow their own hearts and their own minds, right? They want to go after that bag. They want to get that money. Right, because that's what's popular in this fucked up society you live in. Right, a man serving God is not popular, man. That's why, man, they're embarrassed to even come and walk and stand in front of us. Look at those guys; they got to be out here every fucking week. You imagine what they say about us, right? But we don't give a fuck. <laughs> it's Second Peter. I'm gonna read two and one, and it reads: "But there were false prophets also among the people." You stupid, simple-minded motherfuckers in this society. They can't even identify who the false prophets are. they That's who they're bringing their money to. That's who they're bringing their children to so you can pop their ass, right? How many of you weirdos done brought your children to a Catholic motherfucker and he done took your, your son's booty, right? These pastors molesting daughters and shit and going to them Sunday schools and all that weird shit going on, and that madness. Right, this is a satanic vibration coming from that church. It says, "But there were false prophets also among the people, even as there were, even as there shall be false teachers among you." Yeah, teaching that God is white, the angels are white, His Son is white. That is a false doctrine, man, and that is a false teacher, who privily shall bring in damnable heresies, even denying the Lord that brought them, 
and bring upon them what? Swift destruction. That's what's coming to a lot of you fucking preachers who the Lord did not set up. Yeah, swift destruction.